Uh, they aired it to several people, and Nickelodeon and uh, test groups. So we got a green light to do 13 episodes. That's when the real work began, and that is to find a team to make this show. We put together slowly a, a, I, what I think is a, an incredible team. They, most of them, a lot of them were really young and new, new to this type of writing and have great fresh ideas. And uh, so I attribute much of the success to SpongeBob to that collaboration. animation to its, its fullest extent you know we you know a lot of people aren't doing that these days they're trying to keep it you know reality based this was a cartoon show there's a time and a place for a script driven show there's a time and a place for a, uh, an artist driven show and i think spongebob works best because it's a cartoonist driven show and we got to do a lot of cartoon gags exploited animation as much as possible i hated bitching it was so it was was an extra effort to to you know like, oh, I gotta I have to draw and pitch. I held the last thing in my house, even if it was a train. This is gonna be funny. We'd have to pitch to you know the forty uh, people in the crew. Uh, before that, it would be you know a sleepless night, you know just tossing and turning because uh, I have a fear of crowds, but. What would happen is uh, the next morning I would, you know, tons of sugar, lots of espresso, extra sugar, sugar in my Coca-Cola, run around the block and then get in there and just try to pitch and try not to look at all the faces and we just go through it. And hopefully you get the laughs and they don't pick up on how nervous you are. The cut line, he turns it, turns it again and Patrick falls off. <laughs> 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 turns it again, turns it upside down, again. Finally, just writes it up and here's... <laughs> SpongeBob was really fun for, like I said, the very reason that we could come up with a lot of gags in post-production. We did a lot of Frankensteining on the show. Uh, we, we did a lot of uh, taking cannibalizing from different takes to come up with a line just so it sounded, you know, exactly the way they wanted it to. It was fun because it was sort of guerrilla animation, so we could just do things on the fly and add them in at the last minute if they were appropriate and, you know, made the show funnier. Scuba diving is one of my favorite things to do. I could take my uh, experiences underwater and, um, you know, think about the different sea life and, you know, use those things as color references. I was uh, snorkeling or scuba diving on vacations in locations where this kind of plant life existed in the ocean. I appreciated it so much more than in the past. I was going, oh, hey, I, I draw that thing. There's that thing, and that's the way it really looks down here. Aaron Springer is a cartoon genius. And the hardest thing about working with Aaron is that he has about 20,000 ideas for every one idea that I have. Sherm hated when I used Sharpies because it would give him a headache. So, uh, but I think he secretly liked it. Life in a cubicle sad. I think it's easy, don't you? Sit down, have a bagel maybe, some coffee, draw a few pictures, la 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 la. No, it's not that simple. But it was kind of fun because you have a lot of interaction with people around you. But 
problem with that is when you want to get something done and you're trying to concentrate, it just doesn't happen. Personally, first season is my favorite season of, of all of them. I think that, um, you know, we weren't, we were just hitting our stride. And you can see a lot more, I think, of the styles of the individual directors in the first season shows. I feel like personally SpongeBob and Patrick are my children. And every day I come to work and I have to dress them just like I would my kid in the morning. And um, that's just, you know, my favorite shows that I've ever worked on have been like that. You have a staff that's really there and on it 100% and they're, they're happy to be there, they're happy to be, they feel like they're all contributing to this great, you know, nucleus. The people on it were so much fun and, and, and they brought together so much. They brought together talent um, and, and, great, and a great sense of humor. SpongeBob was just one of those shows where the right elements and the right people were, were at the right place at the right time. Everybody bonded really well, everyone got along great, and we were kind of like one big happy family. Those were good times. Good times.